Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasm. Right off the bat on the old show today, Buick has ever been trying to move their buyers a little bit down market. When I say down market, meaning mainly more along the age of their owners is concerned. Buick, for whatever reason, is fantastically popular in the Chinese market, but here in the U.S. is kind of really looked on as being a vehicle that an older generation may end up owning and operating. Well, Buick wants to change that and get a lot of younger folks into their automobiles. I think they're doing a very good job so far. Very beautiful lineup, especially this car, the Regal GS. I absolutely am fantastically in love with this, even though we haven't quite got the real good version, which this vehicle is sold as an Opel overseas, also as a Vauxhall. Vauxhall having a VXR6 version of one of these with a turbo six-cylinder manual transmission and all-wheel drive. Well, we finally got the all-wheel drive option here in the United States, but it's still waiting on a manual version of that and that bigger V6 turbocharged unit, but still fantastic little automobile, very good looking up going up and down the road. Well, apparently the dealer network, the Buick dealer network that is, has been shown this particular vehicle. This is the Opel Cascada. This particular vehicle has been on sale for seven, eight, nine months, a year or so. Fantastic looking automobile and has been selling fairly well and apparently it's going to be coming stateside. Now, there's a lot of rumors floating about about what's going to power this particular machine. I know that the uh, foreign vehicle, or I guess I should say the one sold over in the European market, I think has a diesel variant in that particular vehicle, which probably won't be coming the stateside. But I tell you what, if they do bring this car over, this could be the exact shot in the arm of bringing in a lot of younger buyers. Back in the day, one of the only players in town as far as being a relatively inexpensive convertible version was the old Chrysler Sebring, which Chrysler actually hung on to maybe a tad bit too long, just mainly because it sold really well. That being said, maybe Buick could head in this direction too. This may be the exact vehicle getting a lot of younger people into their dealerships. Can't wait to hear more about this in the future. Next up on the list, there's a lot of rumors floating around the old Lamborghini Huracan. You know, the new Huracans finally getting to their new owners. But there's a new Spider version that's already in the works that supposedly be able to show at one of the early 2015 auto shows. Can't wait to actually get to see that particular machine. But the head or the CEO of Lamborghini is already letting out some rumors saying that quite possibly they're going to build another two-wheel drive version. Remember the Valentino Barboni? An actual tip of the hat to the famed test car driver for Lamborghini who was way more happy to be able to slide the tail end out, which was very difficult to do with the all-wheel drive system. So they made him a two-wheel drive version, named it after him. There was actually a second version of the Gallardo 2 that also came two-wheel drive. Apparently the Hurricane's going to get its very own uh, mid-engine rear-wheel drive layout in the future. So very interesting times. Hopefully we'll know a lot more about this very soon, but quite possibly when that Spider comes out, they may release a little more info as far as that's concerned. And last up on the list, well... The Batman franchise is alive and well, and there's a brand new Batman film actually being filmed right now. And whether you're really excited about seeing Mr. Ben Affleck about being Batman now, which a lot of folks really says they're not very excited about this particular fellow coming in. I think one thing's for sure. Ben Affleck is going to be an amazing Bruce Wayne, because Bruce Wayne is a little bit suave and debonair, and I think that... Mr. Affleck could play that with his eyes closed. I don't think that the last generation, which was Christian Bale, I don't think he did a very good uh, Bruce Wayne, but he made a very good Batman. So it'll be interesting to see what this deal does in the future, and especially if it changes a lot of minds. Back to the particular automobile in the Christian Bale uh, franchise era, the Batmobile was this thing, which was the Tumbler. Fantastic piece of kit with the front axles on the outside of it and the sprint car wheels on the front of it. Not to mention those four super swamper mud gripper tires in the back of this thing. This is by far my favorite Batmobile of any Batmobile throughout the year. So I'm really in love with this. But with the new franchise, 
They're getting an all new Batmobile, and they have finally hit the old interwebs with a mighty splash. This is it, the brand new Batmobile. We'll be making its debut in the brand new Batman vs. Superman film franchise. One of the things that you can see right off the bat, if you look really, really close, and if you want a little bit tighter shot of this thing, I'll put it up on the Facebook page. You can take a peek at it over there. But a very interesting situation. The front wheels actually have four front wheels on the front end of this automobile, and in between the two front wheels on the left and right side, there's actually a bunch of LED lights in the middle of it for the headlight system. Very interesting setup when this particular machine is concerned, and there's a lot of photos floating around the old interwebs. And like I said, I'll put this up on the Facebook page if you want to check it out. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully they build an actual version of this. Not for 100% sure if it may just end up being a CGI version. May never actually make a full-blown version of this vehicle. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to that Facebook page and give us a like over there, I'll put up that brand new Batmobile if you want to check it out. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Oh, poop. Did I ramble on?